Hey guys, I'm Natasha and today we are going to do multiplication of factors. And in the previous video, we have just done factor addition. And so in this video, we will do multiplication of factors. So from this video, our topic of multiplication of factors will start. So in today's video, we are going in today's video we are going to do the two conditions of multiplication of factors. And so the first one condition is scalar into factors equals to what? So scalar into factors equals to vector, but always remember always it can't be scalar. It it will be always vector. So let me write on the board. Then we will discuss more about it. So let me write it. Yeah. So what it is? This will uh, this will be our first condition of multiplication of vector, and it is that scalar into vector. Scalar into vector. Yeah. So scalar into vector equals to what? I told you vector. And always, always. Yeah. So when we multiply vector from scalar, then we always get a vector. Uh, got it? This means that whenever we multiply vector from a scalar, we always get a vector quantity. So now let me uh, tell you some examples, and through that those examples, you can see that by multiplying vector from scalar, vector always come. Means the product of vector and scalar is always vector. Yeah. So let me write. So we are going to take two examples. So the first one example is is through formulas. Formulas. Yeah. So through formulas. So let's take mass. So mass. And acceleration, mass, acceleration, and so mass into acceleration is equals to what? Force is equals to what? Force. Got it? This means that when we multiply mass and acceleration, we get force. So in that, in this example, you can see that mass is a scalar, is a scalar quantity, and acceleration, of course, a vector quantity, and force is also a vector quantity. So by this example, you can see when we multiply scalar and vector, then we we are getting a vector quantity. So now let's take the second example through values because without values, not interesting, yeah, yeah. So let's do the second example. Example number second through values. So yeah, vector a is equals to two i cap plus. 3j cap plus 4k cap. Got it? And x is equals to 2. x is equals to what? x is equals to 2. Yeah. So, we have, sorry, not I have. So, in the example, the value of vector is given and the value of x is given. So, uh, remember that the x is scalar because it don't have, because it does, you can see that it doesn't have any vector symbol. See, it's without in vector symbol, so we can easily find out that it is a scalar quantity, and and by this one, it is also a vector. Means this obviously it is a vector. You can see by what it is a vector. So let's continue. So x means scalar. X is is our scalar quantity in that one. Means in this one, and vector a is a vector. Is our vector in this example? So x then vector a. So x into vector a. What is the value of x? 2. And then vector a. And so now 2 and then in the uh, then the value of vector a will be uh, written in brackets. So it will be like this. 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap. Got it? And so now what will be the answer? 2 to the 4, 4i cap plus 6j cap plus 8k cap. 2 to the 4, 3 to the 6, 4 to the 8. So, our answer is what? In vector. See, it is a vector. And so, through this example, we can also see. And so, through formulas, we can also see. When we multiply a vector from scalar, we always get a vector. We always get a vector quantity. And so, now, I hope you all have understood the first one condition. And so, now, let's proceed to our second one condition. So our second one condition is vector into vector. Okay, this one is uh, this one is interesting. Second one condition is really interesting. See, so second one is vector into vector. 
So when we multiply vector from vector, then what we will get means what will be our product. So it can be, it can be both, but what both? Scalar vector, scalar in vector, because in this topic we are only talking about scalar in vector. So yeah, so by seeing it, we can get a scalar. When we multiply a vector from vector, we can get a scalar. And when and in some conditions, when we when we multiply a vector from vector, then we are getting a vector. See? And when, like in in a, in in any question, when you multiply vector from vector, then then uh, then in that one question, we are getting a scalar. And so and so the our scalar one uh, so our scalar quantity will be scalar product means. We will say it as scalar product. Scalar product. See? Yeah, I'm writing product here. Got it? Because I have to write also something else, but I will write it here. But, but here it will, uh, no, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, so scalar product and Vector product. What is it? Scalar product and vector product. Scalar product and what? Vector product. Vector product. Yeah. So let's continue. So I'm telling you. And so when scalar product is coming. Okay. Yeah. So suppose there are two vectors. Okay. And their answer is and their answer is C. Not vector C. Only C. Their answer is only C. Then it will be scalar. Of course, it will be scalar and it will be called as scalar product. I've told you that. But there is one more interesting thing in that one also. Let's see it. Yeah. So when our this C is, uh, is a scalar quantity, so uh, we will put here dot. We will put here dot. So it will be like this. A dot Vector A dot vector B is equal to C. And so C. C summing and dot. So dot. So by dot, scalar product is also in another name. And it is what? Dot product. It is what? Dot product. Got it? Dot product. And so. So dot product is coming in by the dot. By the dot, we can see that in, in this one. In this one, we can see that. Uh, dot, dot product is we are using dot product. What it? We are using dot product. And yeah, uh, and yeah. Uh, let let's see vector product. Let's see vector product. And so what will be vector product? Okay, okay, okay. And so I have to also tell you some uh, that vector product also has another name. Also has another name. And it is what? Let's see. So now in the second one. Now in the second one. Now in the second one. We can see when we multiply a, a vector a from vector b, we are getting vector c. And from the vector c, we can see it is a vector quantity. Vector, it is a vector. And so, it's, uh, so it will be vector product. So our vector quantity will be as vector product. And, and I have also told you that vector product is also another name. But what? Actually here, we, we will use multiply. Okay. So it will be what? Vector A cross vector B is equal to vector C. And so by cross, vector product is also another name and it is cross product. It is cross product. So this is how vector product or cross product and scalar product or dot product. So in cross product, cross will be used, will be used and in the dot product, dot will be used. Okay. And so now we will see some examples. We will see some examples for the second one condition. We have done first one condition. Now we will do second one condition. Okay. Yeah. So let's do. Now uh, let me take an example for that. So for example. And we will take two examples. Two examples. Yeah. So first one example is. Um, yeah. Let's take this. Work. Force. Displacement. Okay. Yeah. So to tell you something that. You can see that. Work is a scalar quantity. Work is a scalar quantity. So we will write it as scalar. We will write it. We will write it as scalar. 
So work is a scalar quantity, and you all know that force and displacement both are vector quantities. Both are vector quantities. And now we are seeing, uh, we are seeing that dot product is using here. Here is use, we are using dot, dot product. So uh, from this formula, we are seeing that by multiplying vector from vector, we are getting scalar. We are getting scalar. Okay. So now let's take the second one. Second one, um, power. Power. Have you heard? Have you heard about power? Power is equal to what? So the, to find the work. So formula uh, formula was given and the, that formula was force dot displacement. But for the power, to find the power, what is the, what uh, what will be our formula? Yeah, of course it is force dot velocity. Remember, force dot velocity and power is also a scalar quantity. It is also a scalar, uh, a scalar quantity. Yeah, and force velocity uh, force you have seen already. It is a vector quantity and velocity is also a vector quantity. Yeah. So, by this example, we can also see it is same like the, uh, the, that one, okay? So, now let's uh, take main examples for our second condition. Main examples. Main examples. So, example one. Main example one is, is mm, yeah, work. Work as it is. Work is equal to force dot displacement dot displacement dot what dot displacement so force is e uh, sorry work is equal to force dot displacement you have all uh, you already know it means you already know that so work is what it is a scalar quantity what it is scalar force and displacement uh, both are vector quantity yeah so this first example it is as it is like uh, the, this one example so by multiplying vector from vector, we are getting scalar in this example. Now let's take a main example and that is second example. Let's take something different so that I can show you that vector into vector is equal to vector also. Mm, yeah. So let's take torque. Torque. What is torque? Actually torque is a uh, mainly, you know, it is a vector quantity. So torque is a vector quantity and torque to find a torque. What is the formula? For torque means to find the torque displacement cross force cross force cross what cross force yeah so displacement cross force see I'm actually checking my camera yeah yeah so let's do what it was torque is a vector quantity and displacement force of course these are Vector quantity. And so now from this one, from the second example, we can see that by multiplying vector from vector, we are getting a vector. So from these two examples, we can see that by multiplying vector from vector, we can get scalar and uh, vector both. So now let's continue. And now we are going to see that how dot product, how dot product means how we can find a dot product of two vectors. What it? So we can say scalar product. So it is dot product dot product or scalar product scalar product of two vectors of two vectors yeah so dot or uh, dot or scalar product of two vectors and so to find a dot product i am drawing a figure figure is like this so this is our a1 vector this is our b vector and theta is mentioned in the figure so theta is the angle between what vector a and vector b vector a and vector b got it and now let's find the uh, formula let me tell you the formula so dot we are using dot product so we will put dot between the vector a and vector b so vector a dot vector b so so we are multiplying vector from back, uh, we are multiplying vector B from vector A, so that's why we will use their magnitude. Magnitude. So vector, so vector A dot vector B is equal to the mod of vector A into the mod of vector B cos theta. And we can also write it, uh, write it uh, like this: A B cos theta. Remember that. You remember R square is equal to A square plus B square plus 
टू ए बी कॉस थीटा सो हे टू इज नॉट मैं ओनली ए बी कॉस थीटा वाई कॉस थीटा बिकॉज थीटा इज एंगल बिटवीन ए वैक्टर एंड वैक्टर बी सो दैट्स वाई कॉस थीटा इज मैं इन दैट वन या सो इट इज ओनली ए बी कॉस थीटा फ्रॉम दैट वन फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम दैट वन फॉर्मूला या सो आर फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइन दी फॉर फाइन दी डॉट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वैक्टर इज दिस ओके लेट मी ड्रॉ बॉक्स या सो नाउ लेट्स चेक अ क्वेश्चन इज आर टोल्ड यू सो क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड द फाइंड द वर्क डन फाइंड द वर्क डन ओके आम चेक द मार्क वॉट वॉज द क्वेश्चन मीन्स वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द वर्क डन ओ या फाइंड दी वर्क डन एंड फिगर इज ऑल्सो गिवेन टू अस सो थर्टी सेवेन दिस मीन्स दैट थर्टी सेवेन नाउ थर्टी सेवन डिग्री इज द एंगल बिटवीन वॉट वॉट Actually, displacement is equals to two meter. Force is equals to what? Force is equals to five newton. And this, yeah. So we have to find the work. So thirty-seven degree means that theta is of thirty-seven degree. So now let's solve it. So work is equals to what? Force dot displacement. Force dot displacement. And so what is our force? Five newton. Sorry, and then cos. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Sorry. So, well, what was the formula? It it will be this. So the mod of f then uh, multiply with the mod of d means displacement. Then cos theta. And what is our cos theta? It is of cos thirty seven degree. And what is the value of force? Five newton. So five newton into टू मीटर सॉरी टू मीटर डिस्प्लेसमेंट बिकॉज डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज इक्वल्स टू टू मीटर इंटू कॉस थीटा टू मीन टू मीटर इंटू कॉस थीटा टू मीटर इज इक्वल्स टू सॉरी टू मीटर इंटू कॉस थीटा या आई एम राइटिंग इट अगेन नाउ दिस वन विल बी नीट एंड टाइडी फाइव न्यूटन इंटू टू मीटर देन इंटू कॉस थर्टी सेवन डिग्री No, let me uh, only write cos cos thirty seven degree. Okay, only cos thirty seven degree. Cos thirty seven degree. Got it? And so five newton into two meter then cos thirty seven degree. And so cos thirty seven degree is a famous triangle. You know that? Yeah. So when a triangle is of thirty seven degree means when a uh, theta is of thirty seven degree means uh, its perpendicular will be of three, its base will be of four, and its resultant or you can say hypotenuse will be five. And so cos thirty seven degrees equals to base upon hypotenuse. Base upon hypotenuse. Okay. And so five newton into two meter into four by five. And so by cancelling five by five, what is left? Newton into two meter into four. So two fours are eight. And what is left now? Two. Uh, sorry, newton meter. So we will write eight newton meter. And actually one, actually one newton meter is equals to one joule. If you don't know that, then remember it. One newton meter is equal to one joule, so we can write this as eight joule also. So eight newton is, uh, meter is equal to eight joule. So I have, we have found our answer, and it is of, and it, our answer is of eight joule. Our answer is eight joule. Got it? Our answer is eight joule. Our answer is eight joule. Yeah. So, so I have. Done. I've done everything, and now, so that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I have to tell you something that uh, vector product means cross product will be discussed in another video. Then a scalar product topic will be done. Got it? And but it's not done. It is still left. And so this is it. That's it. Now this is it. That's it. And uh, have a nice day.